or down. These notes have been uploaded in the description of video. Please download your notes. Dear students, in today's lecture, I will discuss respiratory system, pulmonary system of rat, ratus, ratus, common house rat. Dear students, the respiratory system of rat that is divided into two parts, respiratory tract and respiratory organs or lungs. As well as in this lecture, I will explain the mechanism of breathing. Dear students, the respiratory tract that consists of following parts. A pair of external nares or nostrils. Dear students, these nostrils are a pair of openings of, these are external openings of nasal chambers. Second part of respiratory tract, a pair of nasal chambers. These are large air passages through which air passes and these nasal chambers lie above the palate. The palate, it is a partition between buccal cavity and nasal system. Dear students, this is palate that acts as roof of buccal cavity. Just above this, the nasal chambers are present. Each nasal chamber having three parts. This anterior small part is, it is vestibule that is lined by skin and hair, which filter the air. As well as this vestibule that consists of hair and sweat glands, sebaceous glands. Dear student, the next part, this part is, it is respiratory region and the upper part it is olfactory region it means each nasal chamber having three parts this anterior small part it is vestibule this middle large part it is respiratory region and this upper dorsal part that represents olfactory region because this olfactory region is lined by an olfactory epithelium that is sensitive to smell in this nasal chamber, each nasal chamber having one, two, three nasal concha. These are inferior or ventral nasal concha. This one is, it is middle or it is lateral nasal concha. And this upper, this is superior or it is dorsal nasal concha. Both nasal chambers open internally by a common aperture that represents internal nares. This internal nares, that is a common aperture in which both nasal chambers open. This internal nares leads into next part that is pharynx. Dear student, the pharynx that lies in throat region the upper part of this pharynx, that is nasopharynx, and its lower part is laryngopharynx. The pharynx, it is a respiratory chiasma. Dear students, here exchange of food and air takes place. In this pharynx, crossing of food and air occurs. The lower part of the pharynx that represents larynx. Dear students, this is the structure of larynx voice box. And this voice box, it is well supported by four cartilages. A pair of arytenoid cartilage. This is a large size of thyroid cartilage. And in this lower part, this Cricoid cartilage. The larynx, the sound box, voice box is supported by four cartilages, a pair of arytenoid, one thyroid cartilage, and a cricoid cartilage. The pharynx that opens posteriorly by an aperture that is 
ग्लॉटिस डियर स्टूडेंट द ग्लॉटिस थ्रू विच एयर एंटर्स इन द रेस्पिरेटरी ट्रैक ट्रैक या एंड दिस अपर्चर ग्लोटिस इट इज वेल सपोर्टेड बाई ए मैमरीनस फ्लैप दैट इज एपी ग्लॉटिस डियर स्टूडेंट दिस एपी ग्लॉटिस दैट प्रिवेंट्स एंट्री ऑफ फूड पार्टिकल्स इन द रेस्पिरेटरी ट्रैक एट द टाइम ऑफ स्वालोविंग ऑफ फूड this is the trachea and dear student this trachea it is well supported by incomplete c shaped about 35 to 40 cartilaginous rings and the trachea that is further divided into several branches bronchi primary bronchi secondary tertiary in the lungs to produce a respiratory tract and dear students these are a pair of respiratory organs lungs this left lung it is smaller as compared to this right lung and this right one it consists of four lobes this is anterior lobe middle lobe posterior lobe and this one is post caval lobe Dear students, this diagram it explains the mechanism of breathing. This is thoracic cavity, which is an airtight box, and in this airtight box, thoracic cavity, these delicate organs, respiratory organs, lungs are present. This thoracic cavity, this is the thoracic cavity, the partition between thoracic and abdominal cavity that is diaphragm. and this cavity is well supported in front side by this sternum in lateral sides in this position these are ribs are present and in posterior side these are vertebrae backbones dear students in this thoracic airtight cavity the delicate organs the respiratory organs lungs are present in breathing that in both inspiration and expiration at the time of inspiration and take of fresh air the diaphragm that becomes flattened due to the contraction of phrenic muscles of diaphragm the phrenic muscles of diaphragm undergo constriction as well as during inspiration external intercostal muscles present between ribs also undergo contraction it means the phrenic muscles of diaphragm and external intercostal muscles are inspiratory muscles as a result this diaphragm becomes straight flattened the ribs which pulled upward and outward so this thoracic cavity becomes a last dear students as a result pressure in the thoracic cavity that reduces so fresh air enters in lungs but at the time of expiration removal of foul air this entire thoracic cavity that gets reduced due to the contraction of abdominal muscles public muscles of abdomen as well as the internal intercostal muscles which contract as a result this diaphragm that becomes dome shaped or cout concave and the ribs which are pulled backward and inward as a result entire thoracic cavity that gets reduced so the pressure develops to remove the foul air this is the mechanism of breathing dear students at the time of inspiration this diaphragm normally it is cout it is dome shaped but at the time of inspiration because this entire thoracic cavity that becomes enlarged so the phrenic muscles of diaphragm contracts as well as the external intercostal muscles present between ribs also contract so the ribs pulled 
upward and outward and this diaphragm that becomes flattened so entire cavity becomes enlarged and at the time of expiration removal of foul air this cavity thoracic cavity that gets reduced because the internal intercostal muscles and abdominal muscles undergo contraction due to the contraction of abdominal muscles and internal intercostal muscles these are expiratory muscles the entire thoracic cavity that gets reduced so foul air removes out this is all about respiratory system of rat and mechanism of breathing in house rat ratus ratus common rat